good. Look who's cute. Join us here. This is a big here. deal. Comment. This is a big deal. It I know really you all is have a, big a thing deal. on DMV Zone. Yeah, so. Joe and I do a show every day on at 3 o'clock called the DMV Zone. You got to tune this, in. We have to do one thing, Kevin, Earthquake and I. This is not for you. This is for the show, Chef. Okay. But see, I'm worried that we're gonna, I'm worried, it's not going to work. Well, that's we, thing, man. That's man. Come on, Kevin. Remember we were telling you how hard it is to impress DC people? Uh -huh. Me over here looking at them cooking them crab cakes like, ain't my <laughs> boy. <laughs> talking about how they swell. Don't let the, the juice, let the juice <laughs> swell. <laughs> ain't nobody <laughs> talking about no don't juice rotate, <laughs> Don't rotate. You, can uh, that you don't want to rotate. Right. Money say, don't rotate the meat. Don't eat around. Let it sit. Like, you don't know about no crab No crab cake slip. I ain't no you. It ain't whole gate slip. It ain't slip. <laughs> Earthquake, I, I have a question for you. I, yeah. I'm actually genuinely curious how you came up with the name and like how it pertains to what oh, you do. Oh man, I told him um, the reason why because I didn't, you know, I didn't want to mess up my real God-given name in case this didn't work out. I didn't have no Nathaniel. epiphany with it. My real name is Nathaniel. So me getting into comedy was just that best decision that day. And the best decision hasn't came since that. Day. What does earthquake mean to you? Uh, cover. <laughs> In case I mean, he didn't just said what it meant to him. No, 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 he literally no. made his name up. Yeah. In case he did, this didn't no, no, work. No, I know he made it up for to, to not use his uh, his God given name. I'm saying, what was the significance of the name Earthquake? Like, why that? Well, I all, no, I had a friend that made bad decisions in his life. So I said, I'm thinking about changing my name to Earthquake because I wouldn't do that if I was you, Slim. So I did it. Oh, <laughs> that's what I was getting. Yeah, that, that was the question. Okay. That's how you do it. Okay. Every day. Okay, we're coming through with the deep yeah. question. Yeah. Do we? Do we do uh, this? Are we doing it? Are we doing it? All right. Okay. Uh -oh. Let's see. Every, uh -oh. every day on DMV Zone, we do what we do. We do a slap. Okay. Let's see if we, we, right we get this slap right. Oh, oh no, no. Kevin. There, that's right, a little right, better. Right, right. All right, here we go again. There you go. Right. There you go. Now I had to teach Kevin how to dap me up. Well, well, that was a little violent. <laughs> oh, man, dude. That, that wasn't real nothing, earthquake -ish. Yeah, that wasn't nothing friendly about that one. Yeah, that might like, where's my money? There might have been a little shockwave after yeah, that. Yeah, I yeah. felt it. Like, y'all had a little tension. No, we've been doing it. So, I mean, so, don't all shake all my hand like that, Kevin. A nice firm one. <laughs> you ain't got to bring it back like I owe you something. Yeah, oh, it's historic. Don't let I don't need get anything to you know? yeah, Historic one, eh? We see how loud oh. we can get. Oh no! The the best part about it is when we get in sync <laughs> and it hits right, it reverberates across the, the, news, the news room, room and, and sticks in our ears. And everybody looks. Yeah, up yeah. yeah. Oh, but you know we got to bring in producer yeah, Chris, yeah. who I want to welcome back. He's been on vacation. <laughs> hey, Chris. Um, we got a takeover happening here today, Chris. That's right. Jay Z takeovers. Aftershocks, I believe, when you make. Oh yeah, yeah. aftershocks. Aftershocks. That's not just shockwaves. All right, guys, we're talking about movies now. That's why we got. Kevin out there because Barbie's box office domination may now face some stiff girl power competition and the reason why is Taylor Swift. Earlier this morning she announced the Eras Tour is coming to a theater near you. The tweet said quote the Eras Tour has been the most meaningful electric experience of my life so far and I'm overjoyed to tell you that it'll be big coming to the big screen soon. Starting October 13th you'll be able to experience wow. the concert film in theaters in North America. Tickets are on sale now. Eras is attire, friendship bracelets, singing and dancing, encourage one, two, three, LGB. If you know, you know, and if you know, you know why I can't say what LGB means on TV. She also dropped the first trailer for the concert film. Check it out. Welcome to the Eras Tour. This has been the most extraordinary experience of my entire life. go on a little adventure together and that adventure is going to span 17 years of music how does that sound welcome to the acoustic setting All right, 
So the concert movie was reportedly filmed over the first three nights of the singer's shows in L.A. earlier this month before she wrapped up the North American leg of the sold-out tour. In true Taylor Swift style, tickets for adults will cost $19.89. Tickets for kids will cost $13.13. .13. Meanwhile, AMC Theaters, which is going to screen the movie, is taking extra precautions so it doesn't meet the same fate as Ticketmaster. As fans of Taylor, no doubt remember the extreme demand for tickets crashed the seller's website multiple times and eventually led to a congressional hearing and a statement AMC said quote in anticipation of this announcement it has upgraded its website and ticketing engines to handle more than five times the largest Dude, influx yeah. of ticket buying traffic the company <laughs> has ever experienced before so for all the DC fans still feeling snubbed by the singer and who didn't travel to see her you can catch Taylor in theaters October 13th and I know for a fact there is one person out there who already has tickets, guys. Oh, yeah. This one. Oh, yeah. I already got tickets in IMAX. I'm so excited. So, so I, I knew mean, this was up your alley. Well, I mean, here's the thing. So, one, I love Taylor Swift. I love her right. music. Yes. Two, obviously, I couldn't get tickets to her shows. She okay. didn't come here. Um, and so, to me, this kind of reminds me of what Hamilton did uh, when Hamilton right. was on Broadway and they filmed it. The cool thing about something like this, and I, I find this really interesting, when you, wa when you watched Hamilton on Disney+, Plus you are being told where to look rather than when you're watching a concert, you are the editor, right? So you're going, oh, I'm looking at Taylor there, but now I'm looking at the crowd here. A movie then makes that decision for yeah. you. So when they go close up on Taylor, it's almost like they're, you know, there's an idea of like now, now you're being told what to look at at exactly what time. And I think the intimacy of this is going to be pretty wild, especially these close up shots when we're on stage with her that nobody was able to get that close to her mm -hmm. um, in right. terms of yeah. watching the show. Oh, so I, I think it's you know, you, you know, you're big and yeah. yeah, I'm very Did you excited. hear that assessment? Quick. He's like a close up shot of Taylor. <laughs> I'm seeing all that money. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, I'm tickets like, for yeah, somebody, she's somebody she's got to go over there. Somebody. <laughs> this is the first somebody. time. Where's the Jay Z at? Right. We need a <laughs> <Right. leader. laughs>